for the sake of completeness i want to discuss this homology class so if you have some bn of k the boundary and boundary which is a subset of zn of k and hn of k is well defined then the group hn of k is the set of equivalence classes of n cycles that is your h n of k is equivalent to this equivalence class where the elements from this classes belongs to your z n of k where this equivalence classes is called a homology class so this is your homology class two n cycles let's say z and z prime are in the same equivalence class if and only if z minus z prime so two we equi uh, these are two cycles two n don't confuse with the two n cycle let's say these two are some n cycles so we say that they are in the same equivalence class equivalence class if and only if z minus z prime belongs to pr of k sorry p n of k yeah in which case this z is said to be homologous this z here is said to be homologous with this z prime so if this is true we say z is homologous to z prime and we denote them like this z homologous to z prime because it's also an equivalence relation okay and this z minus z prime is also the boundary of some space then by definition any boundary let's say some small b is homologous to the identity element as well and all these informations lead you to a theorem and that theorem states that these homology groups are topological invariants so this is the statement statement that homology groups are topological invariant and this is the theorem let's say x is homeomorphic morphic to y when x and y both of them are topological spaces and let k f and l comma g be triangulations of x and y respectively then is if this all is true then the nth homology group on space x under some triangulation k is isomorphic to the nth homology group on y under the triangulation l so that's why earlier i said that the triangulation won't matter as long as you have homeomorphism so when we talk about homology groups of a topological space X, which is not necessarily a polyhedron, but which is triangulable, then for arbitrary, any kind of arbitrary triangulation, uh, the homology group 
stays the same. So the computation of your homology group doesn't define uh, doesn't depend on how you triangulate it. Okay, and hence this is a topological invariant because it's also preserved under homeomorphism, just as stated on this theorem. So this will be uh, our discussion on homology groups. Uh, now we want to talk a little bit about Euler number and the Betty number. You already know the Euler, how to compute the Euler characteristics in R3, but we also want to look at how to compute Euler characteristics if, if I have, let's say, higher dimensional objects, loosely speaking. And we'll see there is a generalization with uh, the Euler number and the Betty number. So we will define that as well. So now let's talk about the Euler characteristics and the Betty number from our uh, simplicial complex point of view.